Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to another tutorial. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a, or how to wire a docking hatch. I won't touch up on the ports because they're basically the same thing except sideways. Um, well yeah, we're going to be talking about the port, or the docks. Hatches. So the first thing you're going to need is some space in the shell. You can't just like toss a hatch in the shell. Nothing's going to happen. What you need to do is you need to give it some space. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to grab some replacement shell, bring it out to about there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and type in hatch, and you'll see the docking hatch right here. Let's place it down, and move it up a little bit. There we go. And then we just have this touch the hatch. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a custom hatch, which is this one, not this one. Alright, this one is... This one is not the docking, or this one is not the custom hatch. This one is. So if you're making a docking hatch, make sure to use this one. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this one because we're not using it. We're gonna move this custom hatch down here. Check the holes. Make sure it's lined up, which it is. The holes will not break out. Now here comes the uh, the not fun part: wiring it. So we're gonna go into wiring mode. All right. And to select the hot the, the the docking hatch in wiring mode, you need to hover over the green bars on this hatch, and you'll be able to select it. And you'll see all these buttons. The only buttons we're going to worry about is state out and toggle state and power. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to wire up the power first. So you take your wire and you put it on the power thing. Then you go down to any of your junction boxes, or at least I can go down to any of my junction boxes. It depends on how your systems are wired. Alright. I'm going to press E on it, and we bring this up here. Now my docking hatch will have power. There we go. Uh, let's go and do this. Hang on. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> now it has power. Basically, what this means is that whenever the docking hatch is uh, wired, or whenever, whenever the docking hatch is docked into something, Whatever it's docked to, it will begin to draw its power and put it into the ship system so you don't have to use your reactor. Uh, which is why, if you do this and you dock to like a station in campaign, you don't need your uh, reactor on. You can just have it be docked. Next, we're going to do is we're going to have it to where whenever you dock, the hatch will open. So, we go up to the docking hatch. Remember, it's the green bars. We're going to grab our wire and click State Out. And we'll bring that to the custom hatch and do set state. What this does is that when the docking hatch is docked, it will send out its state, which is open, um, and it will set the state to be open. So that way, whenever, because right now the docking hatch is considered closed. However, when it is docked to something, it is considered open. Alright, open and closed are its states, so it's going to be sending a state out constantly to the hatch and whenever it receives the open set state or whenever it receives the open state it's going to make that its current state hopefully that makes sense next what we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to do the toggle state in the docking hatch what this does is that basically you can choose whenever it's open or closed so we're going to have to go all the way to our navigation terminal which is this and bring this wire over to toggle docking so if we've got a wire mode and click test, you'll notice that this stays closed. It will not open. There's no buttons and you can't click it. And you can't really mess, it's, na it's wired to the navigation terminal to toggle docking which will open that door. But how do I do it? Well, you can't do it when there's nothing around you. Here's how you do it. You're going to return to editor. And we're going to spawn in the Selkie. Alright. As a example. Um, so basically, we're going to just have the Selkie there. We're not going to have it automatically dock to the ship. We're just going to have it kind of just exist there. Or maybe not. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess this is a good time to teach you guys how to do this as well. Basically, if let's say that you have a shuttle, which is this, all right, or just whatever ship you've spawned in using the Add Submarine. You click it, where it says, and now it's red, and you see this. Hold space and link it to the docking hatch. Not the, not the actual custom hatch, but the docking hatch. And you'll see this green line here. This basically means that whenever you spawn in, the 
ship's docking hatch and the shuttle's docking hatch will be automatically connected. Also, one more thing. Uh, ladders are also quite important, uh, if assuming your docking hatch is up here. Well, actually, no, they're kind of important either way, because they're down here, you're going to need a ladder to actually get up out of the hatch. So what we're going to do, we grab this ladder, and a good trick to always make sure that your ladders uh, connect with the other sub is to make sure that they're just ever so slightly outside of the hatch. This way, whenever you dock to something, like we have now, you have a way to climb up. Now, I know these ladders are you know, exact on each other, but it doesn't matter, because if you climb up them, you'll just go to the other ladder, and you can still climb. So, you'll be fine. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have the Selkie actually point. What we're gonna do, have the ship maintain position, and we're gonna have the Selkie maintain position. And I'll show you why in just a second. Okay. And come down here. Now, if you, for those attentive folks, you might have noticed the undock button here. The reason why this is here is because we are currently docked with something else. It, it doesn't matter what it's docked to, as long as these two docking hatches, a ship, a docking hatch, and something else's docking hatch are connected by this way, this button will appear. And you probably know what happens when you click it. You undock. This closes uh, because the docking hatch is no longer docked and realizes that it is now quote unquote closed. Now, what we do, I'm going to go ahead and move down just a bit. And uh, now we've returned to normal ship view. Uh, so we're going to go and move back up to show you the docking port view. And receive some outages. That's fine. Ooh, those junction boxes aren't doing fine. Nothing, nothing that bad. I can just do this. I'm going to do fix items. There we go. Anyway. We're gonna move this up, and we're gonna go ahead and have this. Once you see this little cone here, this means that you are now in docking view. However, this doesn't mean that you dock. You can click the dock button all you want, but nothing's gonna happen. What you have to do, you have to connect these two green bars, which are the docking ports, or hatches, and you gotta connect them, like this. Once they're close enough to be able to dock, you'll see this little green plus sign coming in and out, and the dock button screaming at you to press it. Now, now this means that whenever you click it, it will automatically dock into the ship, and you are now docked.